Elena Rybakina, a Russian player who naturalized as a Kazakh in 2018, won the first Grand Slam of her career at Wimbledon in 2022. Here is everything you need to know about her. Welcome to Tennis Expert, the one-stop channel for tennis lovers. The tennis player of the highest caliber and the 2022 Wimbledon winner is Elena Rybakina. She stated to tennis majors in 2020 that she wanted to be global number one. Due in large part to her height, her game is marked by tremendous power, which is also noticeable on her serve. She stands at 1.83 meters in height. She told reporters in the SW19 that she believes that the aspect of her game is currently her greatest strength. The key, of course, is my serve and aggressive game. I simply attempt to be as effective as I can while concentrating on my serve, shots, and emotions. Rabakina was born in Moscow in Russia on June 17th of 1999. In the Russian city, she continues to reside. Here are 10 things you need to know about Elena Rabakina. Number 1. She is Russian Rabakina was a native of Russia. She still resides in Moscow, but in July of 2018, she became a naturalized Kazakh. Rabakina was consequently ready to take part in Wimbledon of 2022. Due to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, athletes from Belarus and Russia were forbidden from the competition. When questioned whether she felt Russian or Kazakh, she replied, Tough question. Kazakhstan's financial and supporting backing of her professional career led to her naturalization. She said that her English wasn't strong enough to discuss the issue when questioned about it following the Wimbledon Championship. From my side, I can only say that I'm representing Kazakhstan. I didn't choose where I was born. People believe in me. Kazakhstan has supported me so much. Even today, I've heard so much support. I saw the flags, so I don't know how to answer these questions. Number 2. The best performance by Elena Rybakina at a Grand Slam Rybakina's run to the Wimbledon Championship in 2022 stands out as her best Grand Slam achievement. She became the first Kazakh player in the event to make it to a major semi-final. In the second round, the 23-year-old defeated Bianca Andreescu in two games. Prior to defeating Simona Halep in the semi-finals, Rabakina defeated Ilya Tomlanovic in the quarter-finals in three sets. In the final, she defeated Ons Jabir 3-6, 6-2, 6-2. Rabakina also made it to the Australian Open final in 2022. After a difficult struggle, she was defeated by Arena Sabalenka. The right-hander made it to her first quarterfinal at Roland Garros in 2021. In the round of 16, she defeated Serena Williams. At the 2023 Australian Open, Rybakina advanced to the second Grand Slam final before falling to Arena Sabalenka 4-6, 6-3, 6-4. 3. Titles won the Kazakh has competed in four WTA doubles events so far in her career. The first was at the Bucharest Open in 2019. Then, at age 20, she dominated Patricia Maria Teague in the finals in just one hour and five minutes. 6-2, 6-0. The Hobart Open in Australia, where she later won her second career championship, and Wimbledon, where she won her third, followed. Her fourth victory, the best on the WTA circuit to date, including Grand Slams, came in March 2023 at Indian Wells. Number 4. When did Elena Rybakina first start playing tennis? Rybakina followed in her parents' footsteps and began playing tennis at the age of 6. Later, in 2014 in Turkey, the then 15-year-old Russian player competed in her first match on the ITF Tour. In 2017, she became a professional after competing in her first WTA event in Moscow. She gained notoriety in 2018 when she beat world number 7 Caroline Garcia in the second round of the tournament in St. Petersburg. At the age of 20, she then competed in her first Grand Slam at Roland Garros, where she was defeated in the opening round. At the age of 18, Rabakina engaged Andrei Chesnikov to be her private coach. The two had previously trained together at the Spartak Tennis Club. She hadn't previously had a private instructor. Chesnikov did not accompany her to competitions. He only taught in Moscow. Rabakina changed coaches in February of 2019 to Stefano Vukov, 
a former tennis player from Croatia who had recently played primarily on the ITF Futures Tour. Number 5. The 23-year-old idolizes Roger Federer When asked who a tennis hero was in 2020, Rabakina replied that it would and always will be Roger Federer. She added that she admired retired Belgian tennis star Justine Hennin, who won several Grand Slam titles between 2003 and 2007. I liked her game. I'm not playing like her because I'm being aggressive, but I liked what she was doing on the court," said Rabakina. Number 6. Her Power Rabakina is an aggressive baseliner with a strong serve who seeks to finish games quickly. Her high-risk playing style results in an accumulation of both winners and unforced mistakes. She has the ability to serve and create power with ease. She can produce excellent power with both of her ground strokes thanks to the flat, constant depth and speed of her forehand and backhand shots. She can also hit winners with both of these shots. She can serve a lot of aces thanks to her strong serve, which has a top speed of 122 miles per hour or 196 kilometers per hour. In fact, she topped the tour in the number of aces served in 2020 with 192. Excited to know more about Rybakina? Well, stay tuned until the very end. Also, smash that bell icon to hear more interesting and smashing stories. Number 7. Junior Career Rybakina was a former number 3 junior in the world. In November 2013, at the age of 14, she started competing on the ITF Junior Circuit. She earned her first championship in March of the following year at the Grade 3 Almetiev's Cup, her second career competition. At the Ozerov Cup in Moscow in June, she competed in her first Grade 2 competition and lost to fellow countrywoman Anna Blinkova. Since the beginning of 2015, she has competed in Grade 1 competitions. But she has not had any success until she lost to Katharina Hobgarski in the final of the Belgian International Junior Championships in May. She concluded her juvenile career at the inaugural Round Robin ITF Juvenile Masters, the junior version of the WTA Finals. She placed 7th and had one victory in her Round Robin group. Number 8. Rabakina Quit Gymnastics the Kazakh practiced skating and gymnastics with her sibling before she began to play tennis. The Kazakh, however, grew up too much and became too tall. She then gave tennis her undivided attention and is now 1.83 meters tall. Number 9. The best WTA ranking and prize money that Elena Rybakina has won Due to her run at the Australian Open final, Elena Rybakina made her first appearance in the world's top 10 where the standings were updated on January 26, 2023. In the top 10, she was ranked 7. She would be ranked 3rd in the world if she hadn't lost her Wimbledon points. By March 20th of 2023, Elena Rybakina had earned almost $8 million in prize money over the course of her life. And number 10. Life Outside of the Court when she's not practicing or playing tennis, Elena says she loves animals and has a beagle named Mulia. She also enjoys relaxing and spending time with her friends and family. I have a canine named Mulia, and when I'm home, I enjoy spending time with my friends, she continued. But that will be all for today's video. If you know anything more about Elena Rybakina, well, let us know in the comment section below. Also, smash that subscribe button to get updated on more smashing stories. Enable the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is posted, and don't forget to check out other videos on this channel.